Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Alan. Remember our last episode on weighted grades? Yeah, that was heavy. Yeah. So the grades tool is loaded with a lot of features, and this is what makes it a little tricky at times. But it is possible to simplify. Consider setting the grades tool to a points-based system instead of weighted. Points-based grades are simply the sum of all points the student has earned. And in a points-based system, you can still choose to display the letter grade or the percentage earned in addition to showing the students their points. You control what is displayed with the grade scheme. There are a few built-in schemes such as percentage, which computes the percentage earned for the students and the two common letter grades ones that round up and one that doesn't. In the rounding up scale, a student getting an 89.5% would see an A- instead of a B+. If your letter grades correspond to different percentages, you can create your own grade scheme. The scheme symbol is the letter grade, but it really could be any word you want, and the minimum percent is the low end of what it would take to earn that letter grade. You can usually ignore the assigned value percent, but the color can be helpful to see at a glance where students are struggling. Click the checkbox in the Set as Default column to set your default grade scheme. And don't worry if this scheme doesn't apply everywhere in your course because it can be set at the individual grade item level too. And speaking of settings, you can adjust the display options for yourself and for students. The first tab here is Personal Display Options, which are the Instructor Display Options. The Student View Display Options are found under the eloquently named Org Unit Display Options. <laughs> In a, in a points-based gradebook, extra credit is a bit simpler. Set the points to the max amount a student could earn extra. Check the bonus checkbox, and as before, make sure the category and calculated grade are set to can exceed. And speaking of the can exceed setting, if you have a bonus question on a quiz, be sure to indicate that it's a bonus question, and be sure you have can exceed selected for the grade item for the quiz and for the category containing the quiz. Another grade item setting to review displays the class average and grade distribution. For many grade items, this may be on by default. You may want to uncheck these boxes if you don't wish to share this information with the class. To finish up, you'll likely want to make sure the overall calculated grade is released to students. That way they can see their running total. If you see an eye icon with a slash through it, that means that you still need to release this grade item. You can release the calculated grade by going to Grades, Manage Grades, Calculated Grades, Enter Grades, and then either click the arrow or choose Release All or check individual students. And to future-proof your course, go to your Gradebook Settings, Calculation Options, and choose the option to automatically release final grades. As long as this box is selected, you won't have to remember to release these grades again. Yay! I think I get an A++ for my work today. Thanks for watching.